Hello everyone, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. I just have a quick video here to show off the new ink that I just purchased at my local Stylus Stationers. I think it's Stylus, Stylus Fountain Pens in my city. I bought the Ferris Wheel Press Aurora Yalis and I've loved seeing samples of this all over social media. So I thought why not buy it and support one of my local businesses as well, but also buying locally i don't have to pay for shipping and i could just take it home right then and there all right so let's go ahead and get started open up the box and basically it says ferris will press or water-based evenly toned rich and saturated so let us open that oh wow look at that you can see all that shimmer in there that's beautiful. So let's agitate that here. I'm going to be swatching this in my A5 Galen Leather Notebook with 52 GSM Tamoy River paper. I have got my River City Pen Co. nib holder with the Kakamori Brass nib. And I am just going to use a plastic pipette here to put this all over the page and then swirl it around with the sandwich bag and then actually swatch it on my wear and go swatch card as well as the rhodia paper here all right so i'll go ahead and agitate that a little bit here and just marvel at the bottle one of the things though that i have to fully admit about the ferris wheel press bottles is one while they are beautiful they are horrible for filling pens and where is my oh there it is. They're horrible for filling pens with, so you always have to take a little bit and put it in an ink miser. And if you don't own an ink miser, well, then it makes the whole process that much more difficult for you, unfortunately. Um, so having an ink miser is really, really beneficial. All right, so let's close that and yeah the bottle itself is not the most stable thing either so okay make sure I'm using the right side of the bag and just have fun with putting the ink everywhere and actually before I do that I'm going to swirl these around look at that rich purple that's beautiful Just drop something and I love the sandwich bag method because it really helps to get the different properties of like the shading and the sheening and it's just fun anyway. I feel like this is stuff that we would do in elementary school and you know, as we get older, we don't get the chance to do this as much. And I prefer if, if it wasn't like big, one big blob, I like the little, like almost areas where it pulls, but I also like the little areas like that. Love that. And then swirl this around. So this is a Wearing Ghoul swatch card. I have these for almost all the inks that I currently own. So this is a bottle of Ferris wheel press Aurorealis. So Ferris wheel press. I am liking the way that it is drying already. It's really gorgeous purple plate base and then I'm gonna grab some from here and then that shimmer stunning oh running out of room to write aurorealis that's beautiful I'm gonna soak up some of that ink here so it is Ferris wheel press Rory Alice. 
That's such a stunning ink. Oh my gosh. Let's clean off that pen. Like, look at the beautiful shimmer. You don't see it as much on the Wear and Gold swatch card, but you can really see it here. And I'm excited to put this in a pen. And I already know, I think I'm going to put this in, I'm looking at all of my pens here. I think I might possibly put it into this pen for March. I'm tempted to put it, oh, okay, I might have to put it in the Estebrook SD Lilac, but this only has an extra fine nib. So I'm wondering if it would be good to handle all of that shimmer, but oh my gosh, that's stunning. Stunning, and I think it would go well with either of those pens, really. But I'm just letting it dry right now, but you can see on that Rhodia paper, that beautiful shimmer. It's a stunning, stunning ink. I'm gonna let that dry and then we'll see it all once it's dried. So there is the mostly dry sample page. I actually love being able to do this with one ink. And I know it's not really a writing sample, but it just shows off the properties. Oh, there goes Lucy. It just shows off the properties of the ink. And I'm actually really excited to use this in a pen next month. Now I have to decide what I want in my five-year journal. Do I want this ink or do I want Edwards Gardens? Because both are so pretty. You see got this one or Edwards Gardens, which I spilled all over my journal last time. Here we go. Like, oh, hard to decide. I might have to go with Aurorealis. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So that is it for me. Just a very quick video. I wanted to share the new ink that I bought from my local stationery store. And I'm very, very excited for it. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. If you have anything like this or if you have purchased Aurorealis yourself. All right. That is all for me again. Thank you so much for watching and have yourselves a great day.